you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. I'm gonna be going over the best set in Madden 20. Now, this set gets you free players. Could get you. There's so many. Like, I might actually have to make a separate video going over the math for you guys because there's too much. So, this video can get you coins and players. The set could get you just straight players. It could save you coins. It could negate prices. It could get you so much right now. It could bolster your team. This set is the best set in Madden. And guys, I've been talking about this set. Every year for promos, they drop a set just like this. And it's my favorite set every year. I use it to either get coins or bolster my team. I don't really know which way I'm going to go this time. But the way my team's looking, I'm not entirely sure just yet, guys. For this video, we're going over the set and what you can kind of do with it. And in a separate video, which might be going up tomorrow or Monday, I'll go over all the math of it and ways to make coins off of it specifically. I'll reference everything that this set has to offer in this video, but I'll save another video for going over all the possibilities of it. Because if I did it all in this video, this would be a 30 minute video. There's too much to talk about. I'm gonna have to separate that most likely. I'll go over the ins and outs and in a separate video, I'll really go all in detail on how to do this. But before we get into the video, boys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Let's grind out to 11K as quickly as possible. The family, the community's growing, boys. Thank you so much for all the support. Remember, we're doing day-long giveaways, so all you gotta do is comment down below 50k and um, like the video. And if we get to 500 likes on any video today or tomorrow or any of those other days, you guys should know already. Give it away 50k, and if we don't hit it, guys, don't worry. I'm still probably at the end of it. If we don't end up hitting it, I'll probably still give it away. All you guys gotta do is like and comment down below so I can pull the comments. And that's about it. So make sure you enter, boys. I'll probably be doing it the following morning, like Monday morning. I'll go over the winners. You guys keep showing support. I'll maybe even do two or three winners. So let's see. Let's go over to the sets, guys. Now this set is the Ray Lewis set. This is my favorite set of every promo every year. They had not done it yet this year, so I was kind of concerned they wouldn't do it. And it's the master sets. Most feared Ray Lewis. Now, if you guys don't already know, it takes Earl Thomas, Cam Newton, and Tyler Lockett to get the set done. Now, the beauty of the set is you get them all back now. So there's so many possibilities, right? So you put in those three cards, you get Ray Lewis, you get his power-up card, and you get all three of those cards back. Now, yesterday's power-up card was going 50K. I imagine it's a lot cheaper. I don't think it'll be that expensive for that long. But guys, best set in the game. I'll, I'll go over so many reasons why. So first, first scenario. First off, House Rules gives us one for free. So count out one of these guys. You're getting one of these for free if you do House Rules. That leaves you with two left. Now with just accumulated bats, let's just say you don't have any bats. And you have to buy the other two. Cam Newton goes for about, I believe, 250K, 260K, 268. Let's round to 260 to make the math easier. And Tyler Lockett goes for about 264. So they go for about, all combined, about 520K. Now, Ray Lewis goes for about 430K. Let's round again to make it easier. Sold and everything, Ray Lewis will get you back 400K. So in essence, if you put your house for guy in here and you get the other two cards, you will spend 520K and you will get back about 400K if you sell Ray Lewis. So for 120K, 120,000 coins, which is nothing, you will get a free 90, to earl thomas a free 92 cam dude and a free 92 tie locket now guys tell me what other set in the game can get you three free 92 oh i shouldn't say free tell me what set in the game gets you three 92 overalls i don't know who's messaging me right now i probably just beat their ass in weekend league but i don't know what other set in madden or how in madden ever you've ever spent 120k and you get three 92 overall players that's that's crazy a 92 overall player right now goes for a little over 250 300k naturally so that would cost you about close to 900 to a million coins to get three of these cards had you just wanted any 92 overalls so we'll keep that in mind now the other way to go about this is going to be and again i'll break the math down in a separate video there's too much math to do right now i have it all in different ways i don't know the best way to approach it yet i'm still figuring that out but this is going to be going over the set and what you could do with it and i'll do all the things in the other video but the other possibility right if you just want to keep ray lewis which is my other thought you could you get your free house for a card you put them in right it costs you 5 to 20k to make you keep ray lewis so at the moment, you spend 520k. Now what you could do is you can quick sell all three of the nat players you get back, right? That get that nets you around 70,000 ish bats. So you can use that to get another um, most feared hero type card, and you could sell that for 250k, and that still leaves you with approximately like 23k bats, which can get you back probably about 120k. So. 
you're gonna get 250k plus 120k that's 370k so you subtract 520 by 370k and that gives you about let's see 30 what would i say three you get about 270 no 370 out of 520 so that's like 50 like 150k so with that math you're getting ray lewis for like 150k so like i said there's multiple ways to go about this you're either getting 392s for 120k or 193 Ray Lewis for 120K. So in essence, it comes down to whether or not you'd rather have Ray Lewis or the three Nats. Now for me, I think I'd rather have Ray Lewis because I don't think I'll be able to use Earl Thomas, Cameron Lockett on my team. But so I think if you have a really good team, like a God Squad more so, like what I'm kind of, I'm not a God Squad, but I'm close to it. In that case, I think that you'd want to use the set to keep the Ray Lewis because it'll help my team a ton. But in the case of a team that's maybe like an 85 overall and you just want a bunch of cards, you take the three over the Ray Lewis all day. So it all depends on what you're looking at this. But guys, there's so many there's potential to make coins on the set. There's potential to save coins on the set. Now, for guys who have a ton of bats or you pulled some good stuff, you could potentially get two of these for free and just buy the third and actually selling Ray Lewis gets you coins back. So it all depends on how you're looking. So that's why I have to do a separate video going over all the math and all the things you could potentially do. But it's looking like this set can get you Ray Lewis for 120k or 393s 392s for like 150k guys there's so much potential with the set now if you were to get these three cards if you had to sell if you were going to not just to go over the quick sells of who you could quick sell what i recommend quick selling with thomas if you don't have brian dawkins and you don't plan to get sean taylor no now in my case i might have to quick sell him because if you compare him to my brian dawkins brian dawkins in my opinion blows him away he's faster he's taller he tackles better He's way more physical. His pursuit blows him out of the water. And now the zone, in my opinion, is close enough to still be reputable. Because typically what Earl Thomas is known for is zone. Zone. He's known for zone and interceptions. Now Brian Dawkins with this is known for hitting and hitting decent speed and good physicality. But he also has an above 90 zone. So for me, in my case, I don't think that Earl Thomas is worth it. If I had to, let's say you only want to quick sell one of them, right? You want to quick sell because you also could do this route, right? You could also, this is the, this is the third route. You could get all three of these for you end up with you get all three of these and you could potentially keep ray lewis and all you have to quick sell is two of them and you get back the one hero and you get ray lewis for like 250k and you can keep one of them so if i had to keep one of them i want to be all time now cam newton i think he's an auto sell i think cam newton is an auto sell for most teams um guys I, i've talked about this in depth he's just not it let's say you compare him to my powered up michael vick michael vick is faster with better throw power we're short we're, we're short and medium same deep similar better throw under pressure similar throw on the run and the play action pass i couldn't care about because i don't run play action pass i don't think the majority of the community even does so these cards are reputably like they're close enough and that's not even his full card he's two overall gloves you put the full michael vick in blows him away now you compare him to a guy like let me do it out here so i don't know when gets to spot out so now let's compare him to alec lamar jackson 90 overall base and he can get his ability base cam newton cannot cam newton needs to be powered up so keep that in mind take cam newton on this guy's these guys levels you have to power him up which can be like another 150 200k with abilities and all most likely two 200 250k so he's gonna cost you a lot more on top of that now he's gonna be way slower than lamar better throw power similar short accuracy similar medium same deep way better throw under pressure on lamar's part similar throw on the run and again plaques i could care about so what i see cam newton as right now in this game i see him as a card that in essence is michael vick and lamar jackson take away their speed and you know what happens when you take away their speed you end up with steve young now if you guys don't already know you compare steve young to cam newton steve young has a better passing and like the same speed so in my opinion if you want cam newton trust me if you want a cam newton card get steve young you're going to end up with way better passing stats if you, if you don't mind taking that sacrifice in speed they both get escape artists except steve young is like a pocket passer stat wise with the ability to run now tyler lockett i think is the best of the bunch tyler lockett is really really good he has really good speed pretty good catching really good route running for a speed card i really do like him it all depends on his catch after uh, his stats after the catch i haven't really checked these out ball carry vision 93 juke move 94 spin move 86 okay so this card's a beast yep i like this card this card is going to make my team when i do end up doing the set i'm waiting to get house rules done because if you do this set without house rules you will lose some coins i do not want to lose coins i want to make it rep, uh, profitable so i will be doing this after i get my house rules net now you compare him to Tory Holt. He's literally like just like Tory Holt. He's like a replica of Tory Holt, except he has better catching and similar route running, but not the same. Tory Holt's a better route runner. But Tyler Lockett's a beast. I really do like this card. You compare him to a guy like Randy Moss. Randy Moss obviously beats him in height and spec catch, but other than jumping. But other than that, Tyler Lockett's kind of a beast. One of the best receivers in the game right now. And I really just want him for I'm gonna want him for kick returns. I'm gonna want him for 
slot like maybe my slot receiver There's a lot of things i want to do with this guy they'll definitely replace tyree kill because i'm still waiting for a hill card and clearly he's not getting one so my plan is to use lockett for now until hill gets a new card and then i'll end up getting uh, getting rid of lockett for hill at some point okay it's not gonna it's not gonna want to compare so like if you compare it's like i'm still using hill to this day he still starts for me and he's faster way better catching way better catching traffic way better spec catch way better route running it's a no-brainer that i should go with tyler lockett over tyra kill gonna really help my team a ton there guys that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy remember i will make a separate video with like my spreadsheet and all the math going over how to get ray lewis for under about 150k 120k or the masters whatever you guys prefer i'll be going over that in a separate video for now it's just the best set i gave you guys all the routes if you guys have any questions or comments go over to twitter and ask me questions the, the link will be in the description of my twitter Go follow me over there. Hit me up over there. Best place to communicate with me or comment down below. I'll make sure to get to your comments at some point. But that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noni bell, boys. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Comment down below 50K. Hit that like button. 500 likes is the goal. And uh, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.